Getting started with social media can be overwhelming. There are so many questions like, what do I post? What will my audience respond to? What if no one responds to what I post? What if my content isn't good? And the list goes on and on. Am I right? Well, in today's episode, I got you. I am going to help you tackle all of those things with my system, the three F's of social media content creation. Episode 152 starts right now. Hey there, welcome to the Laura Shipman Show. We hang out here weekly to talk about things like social media, entrepreneurship, marketing, tools, strategies, tips, and it all starts right now. Hey there, before we get started with this show, I just want to share my passion with you. I love teaching people just like you how to master social media for business, breaking it down into to easy to consume and easy to execute steps so that you can see immediate results. So whether you want to start a social media consultancy or grow your brand's presence on social media, I can help. I can help you get started and master all the things that you need to know. So I want you to go over to my website. It is filled with resources, tools, tips, and courses. Visit laurashipman.com. That's L-O-R-A shipman.com to get all the goods. Now you ready for the show? I know I am. Let's get started. Well, hello there and welcome back to the show. I'm so glad you're here with me today because, hey, we're going to press that easy button. I don't know about you, but I absolutely love the easy button. It helps me so much with what I do. So, I definitely take that easy button whenever possible. And for me, the easy button usually looks like a system or a template or something that is easy to execute, which in turn makes my job and my day-to-day life a lot easier to accomplish. And I got to be honest here, if I don't have a system in place that is built for efficiency, I know I'm going to fail. And that being the case... I tend to look for opportunities to develop my own framework, systems, and plans to help me get all the things done. And in fact, okay, I'm going to be totally transparent here. I'm a little uh, obsessive about efficient systems, so much so that I actually, I create them for every part of my day and my life. That might sound a little bit extreme, but trust me when I say that if you have a system or a blueprint in place, you will free up so much valuable time. So what does my system look like for content creation? I am so glad you asked. I even have a snazzy little name for my content creation system. It's called F cubed. All right. Well, so maybe I lied. The name isn't snazzy, but this system is simple and it's effective and it's only made up of three parts. And those three parts are frequency, focus, and fantastic message. So write those down. Frequency, focus, and fantastic message. So I'm so excited to share this system with you, but first I want to make sure that you've listened to episodes 149 and 150, and here's why. Those two episodes actually help you build a really sound foundation for your social media accounts. And I think that's really important to have that stuff in place first before you dive in and tackle content. So if you haven't listened to those two episodes, first, go back and listen to those and then come here and then let's talk about content. All right. So let's get started. The first thing that we really need to look at in our our three F's is frequency. Before you can begin slapping content up on walls on social media accounts all over the internet, it's a good idea to commit to how many times a week you are going to post content to that social media platform, as well as the days you will be posting. And even if you want to drill down just a little bit more, concentrate on the time of day that you're going to be posting. And here's what this does. The first thing it does is it helps to build consistency with your audience, right? They're going to be able to recognize your pattern and they're going to want to anticipate the arrival of your content because they love the content that you're putting out. And number two, it will help you figure out how many post ideas, which means content, like how many pieces of content you are going to need for an entire month. So if you've been hanging around here 
for a while, you know that I am an absolute huge fan of batching content, so much so that you guessed it, I created a system for it called Batch and Slay. And that is a system for another day and another podcast. So let's focus on what we're going to talk about today. And the word focus is the first part of our framework. And I believe it is the foundation to creating a social media content strategy that is effective. If you've heard me speak before, you know that I'm all about focused content. I truly believe if you deliver a focused message or focused content, you will hit your plans that you have set for your business more easily. And here's what I mean. I want to take a look at retailers and how they create focused campaigns and think about your business as I take you through this, because I think it'll make a lot of sense. And then I'm also going to ruin retailing for you when you hear what happens. So back in the day, I used to work in the corporate offices of one of the biggest sunglass retailers in the world. And the systems they had in place for doing things were amazing. And so were their skills at marketing to the general public. And here's how they did it. What they would do is they break their year down into four major focuses, spring, summer, fall, and winter. And having the year broken down into these seasons helped us to organize and predict which sunglass styles would be most likely to sell and when based on what was going on in people's worlds. So let's take a look at summer, for example. The sunglasses that may do better in summer may not do as well in the winter, right? So during the summer, you'll mostly want like these performance sunglasses that help with glare and sports styles that hug your face so that you can enjoy water sports like boating and water skiing and jet skiing, all that stuff. You don't have to worry about them falling in the water. So based on the assumptions we made about people wearing sunglasses in summer, we would select styles we wanted to sell during the summer months and focus only on those styles. Then we would break down the summer month by month and assign products or collections to specific months. So in a sense, if you think of it this way, each month of the summer had its own, and I'm doing air quotes here, superhero, a brand, a collection, or a product that could save the day by solving a common problem of the season. So once we had our product focus in place, that meant our marketing messages and the artwork and the micro messages that you find throughout the store all had to be on point saying not necessarily the same thing, but the same vein of message. So this type of strategy not only kept the business focused on what we were intending to do, selling certain brands and styles and functionality sunglasses, but also kept our customers focused and It positioned us as the authority and the leader in the space that we are currently active in. So do the same thing with your business. Break your business down into main focuses and claim your authority by sending a clear message each month. I don't know if you know this or not, but people need to hear the same message 7 to 12 times before they actually begin to hear it, before it actually embeds in their brain. So think about this for a second. If you're bouncing from message to message to message, you're losing your audience. They don't know what to focus on because you're not focusing on anything. But if you're able to focus on one thing and keep sending that message to your audience, they're beginning to focus on it too. And then you become the expert and the go-to person in your space because you've got this crystal clear message that your audience keeps hearing over and over again. Now, when I say keeps hearing over and over again, I'm not saying you're repeating the same post over and over again. I'm saying you're coming up with a message for the month, but then you are figuring out how you're going to deliver that message throughout the month. So it's not the same thing over and over. And we'll get to more of that in a little bit, but I just want to have you wrap your head around that concept of let's get extremely focused about what we're talking about. And instead of going through this BB gun effect, which a lot of people do, because one minute, let's say that you are in the health and beauty industry. One minute you're talking about lipsticks. The next minute you're talking about a skincare routine. Then you're talking about lashes. Then maybe you go back to lipsticks and then you're doing blush and then you're doing foundation. I mean, if I'm following you, I'm confused as all heck because maybe I need to know in depth a little bit more about lipsticks before I move on to blush. Or maybe I need to start with basics and figure out 
all about foundation and learn all about that and then learn about concealer and then move on from there. So think about how that applies to your business. How can you break it down so you can organize your message a little bit more so it's more concentrated and people can absorb it and really learn from you? And then, as I said before, claim your space as the or claim your authority in your space that go to expert in your industry for whatever it is you do. And that brings us to our third F. So we had frequency, we had focus, and now we have fantastic message. And this is the last part of the system. Now that you know what you're going to focus on for the month, it's time to determine how you're going to deliver that message. And this is where your creativity comes in. Because I love systems and formats and blueprints so much, I created another little system for crafting fantastic messaging and it's called clicks. And this is one that you really want to get to know very well. I'm going to go over it really briefly here, but what I want you to do is go back to episode 136, 136, and it's six things you need to craft amazing social media content. It's a must listen, but I'm going to just drop this really quickly here so you understand what clicks means and you'll get the details in that one episode. So clicks. The first C is creating captivating media. So that's like your images, your videos, all of those things. The next thing in the acronym is L, which is likable content. The next part is I, which is an irresistible hook. The C is clear call to action. The K is kick-ass click-throughs, and the S is shareable and savable content. So when you put all that together, it spells out clicks, and that's basically what we want people to, to do is we want them to click on something so that we can get to know them and also nurture them later. Okay, so once you've listened to that episode, you can take that information, you'll get a ton of ideas for how to create really great content for your social media platform, and then apply it to this apply it to your focus. And then throughout the month, what you're going to do is you're going to take that clicks information, and then you're going to use different types of posts to reach your audience. So the first one is educational posts. So you're going to teach your audience how to maybe best use your product or service or show them how your product actually solves a problem or educate your audience on proven results. The next type of content you can use is inspirational posts. Try inspiring your audience with content related to your industry and business. So for an example, I use best practices as inspirational quotes for my audience, and they actually get a lot of traction. Here's an example of one, and I'm doing air quotes because it's a quote that I wrote. Know your audience intimately. When you do, you will always provide them with what they need at the exact time they need it. It's just a little Laura-ism that sheds some light on some best practices when it comes to social media. So get creative and start thinking about things that you say on the regular, things that are maybe your little isms that you can share with the world that will make an impact. Okay, the next type of post you want to look at are entertaining posts. So think of ways you can deliver your message while entertaining your audience. So it can be maybe you can tell a story that highlights your product or service, or you can show your audience behind the scenes of you putting together your product or service, create videos of people using it, or even just share a testimonial. All of, all of those things are really entertaining to people. They love seeing that stuff, especially the stuff that goes on behind the scenes. It's a lot of fun. The next type of post that you might want to explore is a post that rewards people. And I think people forget to do this. Give your audience a reason to keep showing up on your social media platforms. So think about a free sample or a free trial that you can give to them, a free download, or maybe even a coupon that they can use towards a future uh, purchase. All that stuff really works. It's very valuable. People love it. And then you have those things and then just rinse and repeat each month as you go through my three F's. So that's how I create content that both my audience and my business loves. So now you have some homework and your homework is this. Listen to episodes 149 and 150 if you haven't listened to them already. It's going to teach you how to build a strong social media foundation. Then after this episode, go back and listen to episode 136 things you need to craft amazing social media content. That's the title. So that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have some ideas swirling around in your head that you can use to create focused content for your account 
and for your audience. All right, so that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for joining me as always. And until next time, my friends, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay social. Hey there, I just want to say thank you for spending time with me here today. I know your time is super valuable, which is why I am dedicated to providing lots of usable, actionable information in the shortest amount of time possible. Before you go, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a future episode. And if you have ideas or topics you would like me to cover in an upcoming show, let me know about it in the comment section provided. 